Rise and shine, campers. It's Saturday, February 19th. We've got continuing coverage of this year's U.S. Amateur Championship bright and early this Saturday morning for you. From Strokers in Palm Harbor, Florida, I'm your host, Jason Bowman, and I will be your camp director today as we navigate these early, early rounds. So grab some coffee, settle in. We've got Michael Wilth Jurassic of Illinois. His opponent, Thomas Pletcher of Hera, Oklahoma. They are ready to go on the main table. This will be a race to seven, combination of eight ball and nine ball, five games of eight ball, eight games of nine ball. Looks like they'll start in the eight ball set. This is a double elimination tournament, and the winner of the lag chooses either the break or the format. So this is Thomas Pletcher at the table. Again, settle in, get comfortable, grab some coffee, and we are off and running here at Stroker's. Our coverage brought to you by our friends at PoolDog.com. Of course, this event produced by the American Pool Players Association. If you're looking to find out how your favorite player is doing in this year's U.S. Amateur Championship, you can go to CompuSport.us. Take a look at the bracket. See if your favorite player is still in the tournament when they play. See what I can tell you all about Mr. Pletcher at the table here. Again, he's from Hera, Oklahoma. Been playing pool 30 years. Started playing in the 90s back in a pool hall in Toledo. Quickly fell in love with the game like so many do. Been playing ever since. One loss side. All right, so one of these players at the conclusion of this match will exit the tournament. The other will move on through the one-loss side of the bracket. Both these players have sustained a loss at this point in the tournament. Again, you can follow the bracket at CompuSport.us. Thomas wanted us to mention his wife, Michelle, who he said is a key part of his success, huge supporter of his game, as well as all his friends back at the pool rooms that he plays in back in Oklahoma, including Bill's Billiards, where he plays most of the time. Trying to finish off this rack here. We'll get our first look at Michael Wilk Jurassic out of Illinois. Michael's been playing 20 years. A friend introduced him to the game. You can see he's playing the low balls or the solids. Plays with a McDermott. First time competing in the U.S. Amateur Championship for Michael. 
Also plays in some pool leagues back home. And he is a man of few words, <laughs> from what I can tell on his bio sheet. Man of few words. Quiet morning here at Strokers. First round of the day, just getting underway. Rounds will continue through 10.30 p.m. this evening. That'll be the start of the final round. So long day ahead here at Strokers. Lots of coverage of this year's U.S. Amateur Championship coming at you all day long. All courtesy of our friends at PoolDog.com. They are your go-to for all your billiard accessories and needs, cues, cases, everything in between. Hope you all are having a good Saturday morning wherever you're tuning in from. It'll be another beautiful day here in the Tampa Bay area. Again, this is Michael Wilk Jurassic at the table. You see his opponent, Thomas Pletcher, seated there. Unable to pocket that three in the corner. Should give Thomas another opportunity at the table. Started off well on his break. Hung up on that final ball there in the corner. He finally gets it to drop, turns his attention to the eight in the same corner. With a sea of blue in between. Mm -mm -mm. Costly mistake there by Mr. Pletcher. Not only misses the eight ball, but follows it in with the cue ball for the scratch. Concedes the first game. Michael Wilk Jurassic takes an early 1-0 lead in this race to seven. We're going to hear a quick word from our friends at PoolDog.com.
right, we're ready to go with our second rack. In this race to seven, this is Michael Wilk Jurassic with the break, leading one nothing. Dry break there for Michael. Bring Thomas Pletcher back to the table. Decent first rack there for Thomas, but did not end well. That scratch on the eight ball. See if he can right the ship here. is also Thomas's first appearance at the U.S. Amateur Championship. Shoots with a cam custom cue by Chad McLellan, who is also his mentor in cue making and a good friend. Again, if you're just joining us, you're watching early morning action in this year's U.S. Amateur Championship here at Strokers in Palm Harbor, Florida. It's the second time Michael's had trouble with that three ball in that bottom corner. Turns the table back over to Thomas Pletcher. Rides that nine all the way down into the far corner. in the corner and he will once again be shooting on the eight ball and this time he's sure to finish it off eight ball drops in the corner pocket Michael ties this match up at one game apiece in this race to seven. We'll see our third game of eight ball here momentarily. Again, five games of eight ball, up to eight games of nine ball. And while we've got a minute, if you're interested in signing up for next year's U.S. Amateur Championship, you can do that right now on our website. Get signed up for a preliminary round in the fall, and then the top players there advance to the championship round. So no time like the present. If you think you got what it takes to compete with some of the best, it all starts by getting signed up. Thomas Pletcher now with the break. 
his second of the match. And our second dry break of the match. Michael Wilk, Jurassic at the table. Michael dropped his first match yesterday in the 130 round. Went on to win his next match last night. So both these players one and one thus far in this year's event. Unfortunately, this will be the end of the line for one of these two. The other will continue on through that one loss side of the bracket. Winner of this match will play again at noon today. That's East Coast time. Michael defeated Ben Cruz late last night. Pretty convincing score, 7-1. to one. And that was dropping after dropping his first match, 7-5, to Mark Ruzano. Thomas back to the table. Thomas defeated my broadcast partner, or one of my broadcast partners yesterday, Richard Andrews, in a Hill Hill battle, 7-6. And dropped his next match to Jacob Watson out of Texas, 7-5. So both players 1-1 one one thus far. As I look over our comments, Mr. Andrews, the aforementioned Mr. Andrews, wishing Mr. Pletcher luck, the same man who defeated him in the first round. So just another example of the great sportsmanship we see here at the U.S. Amateur Championship. As I look over the bracket this morning, some names of note still undefeated. Ernesto Bayawa, former U.S. Amateur Champion and reigning eight ball classic champion. We saw him play a great match. Hill Hill battle against Jason Shearman yesterday. I mentioned Jacob Watson, who handed Mr. Pletcher his first loss. He is still undefeated. David Rowell, another former U.S. Amateur Champion, still undefeated. Jason Jones, or the pink guy, as a lot of folks on the comments yesterday were calling him, out of Alabama. He had the pink hair and the pink shirt and the pink shoes, and he played quite well yesterday. He is still undefeated. John Pascarelli out of San Diego. 
undefeated Marvin Gus. Carlos Gomez, who we saw defeat three-time champ Henry Brote yesterday on the streaming table, still undefeated. Daniel Gamble, perennial top finisher in this event, still undefeated. Had a big win against Jose Del Rio, the owner here at Strokers, late last night. Not too late, 7.30 round. So again, you can follow along, compusport.us. can see who's doing what here at this year's U.S. Amateur Championship. Safety there by Michael. I'm sorry, Thomas. That brings Michael back to the table. a foul there. Thomas will have ball in hand after a well-played safety. Michael unable to hit his object ball first. And we'll see what Thomas can do with ball in hand here. It's the one in that bottom corner off the three ball. Now looking at the three five combination. Which he executes nicely. It's the three in that same corner. Turn his attention to the two ball, getting a look at it. With an eye on the seven up table. Get enough on that seven ball. Hangs up there in the pocket. Thomas scratches his head. Michael happy to be back at the table. The chance to take a 2-1 lead in this race to seven. Folks tuning in from all over the country as I look over the comments. Even some of you on the, uh, <laughs> the West Coast up bright and early this morning. Again, we will have matches coming at you all day long here from Strokers, Palm Harbor, this year's U.S. Amateur Championship. All of our coverage brought to you by our friends at PoolDog.com.
Michael went ahead and cleared that seven off the table in hopes that Thomas misses this shot on the eight and allows him another chance at the table. We'll see what happens here. Thomas takes advantage, pockets that eight, no problem. Takes a 2-1 lead in this race to seven. Michael will prepare the rack. Thomas will have another break. And we will see our fourth game of the five-game eight ball set here momentarily. If you haven't yet heard the word, the big news this week out of Palm Harbor, Florida, APA is now on TikTok. Yes, folks, we are on TikTok. Tell your friends, call your parents, write a letter, and follow us on TikTok, please. My livelihood depends on it. <laughs> Sorry, folks, it's a little early in the morning and I'm talking to myself. But, in all seriousness, if you're on TikTok, find us. Lots of great content. I believe he got the two ball there on the break. Can't get that six ball to drop in the corner though. For those of you TikTokers out there, you can see a link there in the comment section to make following a little bit easier. Just launched that earlier this week, so a lot of fun content planned. I know we've shot a number of different things with our buddy Venom, Florian Kohler. And there's a lot of good stuff to look forward to there. Meanwhile, Michael Wilk Jurassic trying to tie this match up at two games apiece. Currently at the table. Pockets the nine in the side. Takes care of the 11 in the corner. Going to have a little bit of a mess there in that bottom corner to deal with. Hmm.
once again, Michael clears out his opponent's ball. Might have been hoping to leave that 12 ball a little bit more in front of the pocket. Block the 8. Thomas going to get a good look at things. Later today, I'll be joined by Team USA, Team USA's Jeremy Jones. He was here late into the evening last night and calling the matches. So I'm going to let him sleep in a little bit this morning, rest his voice, and he will be back later today. Thomas Pletcher back to the table. Pockets the one in the side. safe there. Well, Michael got a good hit, <clears throat> excuse me, on the 10 ball there. I'm not sure how much reward, though.
back and forth here is Thomas starting to apply some pressure here. See how Michael responds. <laughs> wow. Well, for the third time in this match, he uses his object ball to clear his opponent's ball out of the pocket that time. It worked out. Although he's going to have to figure out how to get on that eight ball. If he's going to tie this match up at two games apiece. Ten ball just sitting there in the pocket, ready to drop. Oh, and a nice leave there by Michael. Well played. Now in great position to even this thing up. Pockets that eight in the corner, and we are tied at two games apiece here in this race to seven. We will see the final game of the eight ball set coming up here momentarily. was Michael Wilk Jurassic of Harwood Heights, Illinois, winning his second game. Thomas Pletcher of Hera, Oklahoma. Second day of competition here, the Open Division of the U.S. Amateur Championship. Fourth day overall. We had the women's event on the front end. First two days, Stacy Borbo of Orange, Massachusetts, taking home her second U.S. Amateur Championship title in that event. The victory over Rachel Lang. Players will switch to the nine ball set after this rack. Michael pockets the two in the side.
one in that top corner. Again, both these guys making their very first appearance at the U.S. Amateur Championship. Michael Pockets at three in the side. As we've seen with virtually all of our matches on the stream table, starting in the eight ball set. Talked about that a little bit yesterday. A lot of times the players want to have a chance to get a little bit in stroke, particularly early in the morning like this. I'm sure some of them found their way in early to practice, but you know pool players. It's a tough miss there for Michael. And Thomas matches that miss on the nine in the corner. pace of this match has slowed considerably over the last couple of games. Jimmy Hergert, you're probably right. <laughs> they were still playing from the night before. Pockets at six in the corner now on the eight ball. Oh, I'm sorry. He's still got that. I think that's the five ball out there. Well, Thomas was 
anxious to get back to the table, finished off that nine ball, but didn't really do himself any favors from there. He was very quick to hop up and shoot. If you're just picking us up on your news feed on Facebook or tuning into us on your YouTube feed, you're watching coverage of the U.S. Amateur Championship. We are here at Strokers in Palm Harbor, Florida, the 9 a.m. round. Michael Wilk Jurassic at the table. Pockets the five in that top corner. Opportunity now for Michael to take his first lead of the match as these players wrap up the eight ball set. Pockets that eight ball, now leading three games to two. He will have the break as we switch over to nine ball. Be sure to subscribe to our e-newsletter, the APA Buzz. Get all the latest information about APA. Of course, a lot of you folks watching us here on Facebook. But make sure you give our page a like and a follow. Get notifications when we go live. And of course, our Instagram page. Lots of great content there. You can interact with us all over the social media platforms, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, or even on Twitter. We don't have a graphic for Twitter, but I promise you, look for us on Twitter. We're there. All right, Michael with the first break of the nine ball set. Once again, a dry break. Seen quite a few dry breaks in this match. Thomas pockets the one in the corner. Misses the two in the opposite corner, though. So Michael will finish that two ball off instead. Turn his attention to the three.
Again, if you're looking to follow a particular player in this year's field, you can go to CompuSport.us. That'll tell you the who's still in, when they play, and how they've fared so far in this year's event. As Michael pockets at three in the side. for that 5-9 combo did not pay off unfortunately for Michael now an opportunity for Thomas to try and get even in this match plays a safety there Nice shot there by Michael. He has definitely been the less conservative of the two here. So far to his benefit. Still a long way to go in this match though. See how he wants to handle this six ball. Can open the window a bit here for Thomas now. He has struggled his last few turns though with pocketing some shots that I think more often than not he would make. We'll see if he can right the ship on this six ball. Now he prefers to play safety. Michael returns the favor with a safety of his own.
Michael with that nice cut shot in the side pocket, the six ball. But left with another difficult situation on the seven. He has certainly not shied away from the offense when necessary in this match, though. Tried to bank the seven in the corner. Ended up with a down table. Now a shot for Thomas Pletcher. Who does pocket the seven in the corner. Looks to be in pretty good shape to even this match up at three games apiece. Oh. Once again rattles a ball. Eight ball in the corner just won't go. He's got to be thrilled to have another opportunity here at that eight ball. That could have been a critical mistake. Let's see if he can make it right here. Drops the nine in the side. So Thomas able to right the ship there after a couple of mistakes. Takes the first game of the nine ball set. And we are even at three games apiece once again. In this race to seven. Thomas will have the break. Michael will prepare the rack. And we will give a shout out to our friends at pooldog.com. Our presenting sponsors of this year's U.S. Amateur Championship. We've got our pool player championships coming up here in a couple of months in Las Vegas. If you're interested in competing in that event, it all starts by signing up for a qualifier board. Get more information on that on our website, poolplayers.com. Thomas ready to go. His first break of the nine ball set. And he scratches in the side pocket. <clears throat> Jimmy, we'll see you in Vegas, buddy. That event will be here before you know it. Early May, once again at the West Gate in Las Vegas. But right now, we're here at Palm Harbor, Florida. Strokers, the one and only Strokers. Drops that two in the corner there.
three in the side. Looks like he's got a shot on the four. That seven and nine ball, a little tied up there. Looking at that now. Pockets the four with no problem. Five in the top corner. Did he come back far enough to see the six ball? George, we appreciate you all tuning in, so thank you. Yeah, so he didn't get far enough down on that six ball, and unable to pocket it in the corner. Thomas plays safe once again. Again, you're watching coverage of the U.S. Amateur Championship. Hundred and nineteen participants in this year's open division of the US Amateur Championship. As we mentioned earlier, the entry window for next year's event is now open on our website. So if you've always dreamed of playing the top players, think you got what it takes, give it a shot. Sign up today, play in a preliminary round. Top players advance to the championships. Michael with the jump shot. Got a good hit on the six, unfortunately. Left it in prime position for Thomas. Pockets it in the corner. David, we'll look forward to seeing you in uh, May as well. Appreciate you tuning in. Seven ball in the opposite corner. This is the eight ball up top. Again, he has had some issues with pocketing balls here in this match. And we'll
we'll see if Michael can capitalize. A lot of blue there in between the cue ball and the eight ball. But not a problem for Michael, who pockets it in the corner. Cuts the nine in the opposite corner and takes a 4-3 lead. Again, this is a race to seven. Michael now needs just three games to Thomas's four. And we mentioned earlier how to enter next year's U.S. Amateur Championship. Again, you can do that on our website. This program really continues to grow in popularity. Really one of the unique events in the pool world if you've never participated. Thomas is going to take a quick break while he does that. Let's hear another word from our friends at PoolDog.com. All right, well, while Thomas stepped away, Michael decided to get things started. With a nice break, has pocketed the one and the two ball. Three ball already off the table. Cannot pocket the four in the corner, though. Thomas with a nice safe there. Michael has definitely been the more offensive player here. Thomas, the more defensive player. And the result has been quite a back and forth match, tight match to start our day here at Strokers. A little over an hour into this match, about an hour and 10 minutes into this match. Next round will kick off at 10.30. Nice jump shot there by Michael. It's a good hit on the four. Maybe a little reward. Can't tell there if Thomas might be able to cut that ball on the side. He's looking at that now. Nope. He's going to jump it.
A couple of back-to-back -back jump shots. Leaves Michael at the table. Able to see the four ball. Able to pocket the four ball. Pockets the five in the same corner. Turns his attention to the opposite end of the table. Then the six, seven, and eight. goes the six. Michael was waiting for the space to clear there. You saw the next table in play. Now shooting on the seven ball. He's right. Rattled those last couple balls in that pocket, but they both dropped, and now he's in good shape on the eight ball. Boy, rattled another one in that corner, and that time it came back out. You could almost see that one coming after those first two balls were rattled. And unfortunately, third time was unlucky there. Thomas cleans it up, now shooting on the nine. Chance to once again pull even. Mm. Unable to cut the nine. Golden opportunity now for Michael. Some good insight there from Dan Gamble, one of our participants in this year's event. Referencing that corner pocket we just saw Michael rattle the eight ball in. Says the corner pocket's really tight. Or that corner pocket. But the mistake does not cost him as he pockets the nine. Takes a 5-3 lead. Needs just two more games. We mentioned earlier our TikTok channel. I've already seen a surge of follows. So again, if you're on TikTok, find APA Pool. Give us a follow. I have a lot of great entertaining content for you guys 
over the days, weeks, and months ahead. You can be one of the early adopters of our TikTok channel. If the content wasn't enough, the idea of being one of the first, maybe that'll entice you. As Michael has the break, and as we've seen several times here in this match, dry break again. Looking at that 1-9 combo. Again, you can find the schedule for all of today's matches on CompuSport.us. Well, there you go. Nice break there for Thomas Pletcher. And he plays a safe there. Michael gets a good hit on the two ball, but scratches in that lower corner. Ball in hand here now for Thomas. Let's see if the defensive strategy works out. He has opted to play defense more often than not, but now with ball in hand. See if he can put together a run. Two in the side. Three in the corner. Grab that extender, give him a little extra reach there. Four in the corner. Thomas a little thrown off there. You can see a player entered the arena, kind of came across his line of sight. <clears throat> Decided to step back and kind of regroup. Pockets the five. Just got enough on that six ball. Just enough. <laughs> the 
Seven in the corner. Eight in the corner. Again, a little bothered by the traffic coming in for this next round. Decides to pull back. And now he finishes off the nine in the same corner. So pulls within one of Michael here. That was probably the most offense we've seen from Thomas since that first rack where he ran down to the eight ball and then was unable to finish it off. He will now have the break. If you've not yet joined an APA league, now is a great time to do that. As we head into the spring, a lot of our leagues are already in their spring sessions. Great way to get out, meet some people, have some fun. I think we've all kind of earned a night out after the past couple years. So, Well, one in the side there on the break, but the cue ball followed it in. So we saw a run out in the last rack after a scratch. We'll see if Michael can return the favor here as he pockets the two. Now the three. Four ball in the corner. Once again, Michael waiting till his fellow participant on the next table is able to clear the space. As he pockets the five in the corner. Leaves himself nicely on the six. He brought it back around for the seven, but he left himself on that rail. Pockets the seven, though. Leaves himself a very long shot on the eight. Really nicely done there by Michael. Pockets that eight. 
Great leave on the nine. And a chance to move to the hill here. If he can pocket this nine ball in the corner. Which he does with ease. Takes a 6-4 lead. Now needs just one big game to advance in this event. Again, we mentioned at the outset, both these players already have a loss, which means the loser here is going to be out of the event. The winner will continue on through the one-loss side of the bracket. Michael takes a quick look at that rack, seems satisfied. Cue ball is positioned to his liking. Pockets, I believe, the five ball up top. No handicaps used here at the U.S. Amateur Championship. Although we do quite often get questions about what the player's handicaps are. Some of them may have handicaps if they play in our leagues, but I don't have that information in front of me, unfortunately. Some of the folks tuning in may know better than we do. At least better than we do at the moment, I should say. Again, most of the players you'll see here at the U.S. Amateur Championship are in that top tier in terms of skill level. Sixes and sevens in eight ball, eights and nines in nine ball. Very difficult to make it here. If you're not in that stratosphere of skill level. Michelle, thank you for that. Confirmed. Thomas is a 7 and a 9, so kind of as we thought. Pretty common for these guys to be at the top tier of the skill level rankings. Not uncommon to see a lot of these players at our Vegas events, whether it's the Pool player championships in the spring or the team championships in August. Thomas narrowly missed the scratch there in the side. Victor, are you wanting us to reevaluate your commenting skill level or your actual skill level? <laughs> Michael pockets the one. Draws that cue ball, though, into the side pocket for the scratch. Nice opportunity here for Thomas. Trying to stay alive in this year's U.S. Amateur Championship. Looking at that 2-9 combination. Try to end this rack early. And unable to make the 2-9. Just some missed opportunities throughout this match for, for Thomas. Just a few shots he'd like to have back. Shots that I'm guessing he typically makes. But they're not robots, right?
even at the highest level, they do miss from time to time. And that creates more opportunity for Michael to try to finish this match off. Whew. It's a little lucky there with the two ball. Sometimes we create our own luck, though. There is no restrictions on lower skilled players trying to qualify for the U.S. Amateur Championship. You're certainly welcome and probably more common to see, you know, players in maybe the range of a skill level five in the preliminaries just to see how they fare, right? But again, it's non-handicapped, so going to have to bring your A game to knock some of these guys out of those spots. But I know a lot of players just like to kind of test their ability against the best. All right, three in the side there for Thomas. <clears throat> Somebody said Thomas's nickname is Fast Freddy. <laughs> Definitely seen him hop out of the chair ready to shoot a couple of times here. Oh, and he can't get that six to drop. However, it's like the seven ball has blocked the path. So he didn't get the result he wanted, but may not have done his opponent any favors. Gonna try to come off that rail and clip that ball in. And he got it. Nicely done. Three balls remain for Michael. That would put him in position to advance. Rides that seven ball all the way down to the opposite corner. Looks to be in pretty good shape on the eight in the side. Now down to the nine ball for Michael. Going to have to earn it here, though. See if he stays on the offense. Have we seen so much from him in this match? Goes for the bank. Unable to make it. Yet another opportunity for Thomas. 
to extend this match. Thomas fires that nine ball in the top corner. Picks up his fifth game, draws within one. This is not over yet, folks. Thomas will have the break. Pretty tight match to start our day here at Strokers. Again, you're watching coverage of the U.S. Amateur Championship. This is a race to seven. We saw the players play five games of eight ball see up to eight games of nine ball depending on when this match finishes out Thomas taking a good look at that rack grabs his break cue there Once again, a scratch on the break, pocketed the three ball in the corner. But once again, that cue ball finds its way to that side pocket like a magnet. And the table is Michael's once again. Slight adjustment there for Michael. The ball in hand. Gently pockets that one in the corner. I'm sure Michael would love to finish this match out with a nice run out here. in the corner in the corner five into the seven seven drops Five ball follows it in, draws it all the way back. We'll take aim on the six ball in the same pocket.
All right, so Thomas leaves that six behind the eight. We're going to take a look at this shot. Thomas looks to be in good shape to even this match up. If he can pocket this eight ball, a lot of blue in between here in the pocket. He has had some issues with pocketing balls. And once again, cannot get it to go, but somewhat fortunate with the position of that nine ball. He gets a good hit on the eight. Leaves the cue ball on the rail and some, again, another long distance shot for Thomas. There's no doubt thinking about some of those misses he's had here in this match. Still time to right the ship though. Michael pockets that eight in the side. And now, another good opportunity to finish this match off if he can pocket the nine. <clears throat> Michael Wilk Jurassic takes this match 7-5 as the nine ball drops over Thomas Pletcher. He will advance on the one loss side of the bracket. Thomas Pletcher will exit this year's U.S. Amateur Championship, his first appearance. And folks, we're going to take a quick break and we will be back with more action here at the U.S. Amateur Championship in just a few moments. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> 